Alright guys, it is Marie. I wasn't planning on making a video today. Um, however, I just got back from a conversation um, with a woman whose family member has a disability and she was sharing with me some of the concerns she had. Uh, you know, will this person live a worthwhile life? Will they be successful? And so I had some thoughts both during and after the conversation that I just wanted to document in this video and get out there. Um, and so the first one I have, I guess, is before people meet um, someone with a disability or are related to someone with a disability, they only have this perception of what someone with a disability is and whether or not they vocalize it and whether or not they realize it, I think that perception most of the time is people with disabilities are a tool for inspiration uh, and they are a tool to make people feel better about themselves. They are put on this earth to make people feel better about themselves. Again, people might not realize it, they might not want to, or they might not vocalize it. Um, I totally don't accept this notion, but from my own experience, I know it's out there. I know how you people see me. Um, but anyways, um, I can understand where it comes from. Um, the first person, um, or the first place, I guess, where someone meets someone with a disability uh, is on the news and or in the media. And what are those news and media stories always about? It's always about, oh, the, the, the disabled person got brought in by the football team to score a touchdown or the student was voted prom king or queen by their by their fellow students again i think this is a way for people to feel better about themselves um because when you bring in uh, that person to play football when you when you vote for that person to become prom king or queen homecoming whatever um, you, f you feel good about yourself. You're, you're not, you're not doing it for, I don't want to say a good reason, but it's not genuine. You just, maybe, maybe, maybe it is. I think, I think some people, some people do it out of their, the goodwill of their heart, but I always think there's that intention to go, oh, well, if we, if we vote for that person, you know, what we talked about and, you know, people will go, oh, good for those kids. Look what they did for that person. But after they're voted in, after they score the touchdown, people with disabilities go back to being in the margins. You know, you didn't, you didn't vote for that person to become homecoming queen, homecoming king, because you knew that person. They've always been on the kind of margins of, of life. And so I get where this woman's concerns are coming from um, because we don't see people with disabilities um, being successful unless it's an extraordinary success. We don't see the mundane successfulness. Um, and so we don't, we, we, we see uh, an inflated version of disabilities in the media, on the news. We don't actually get to see disabilities for what they are. Um, and again, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, as I said before, I just kind of wanted to put my thoughts out there. And, and, and so I will see you in the next video. Bye.